Do you know there is a faith unaweza kuwa nayo? Ukizoea tu kuachilia mambo iwe you remain where you are. But uh, I didn't I didn't plan to read this verse but allow me to read it. I hope I get it. Kuna mahali Bible inasema there were four men wakawa na rafiki yao akiwa mgonjwa. I did not plan to read but let me let me see if I can get that verse. Walipoenda kumtafuta Yesu wakapata nyumba imejaa. You remember that story? Wakapata the house is full. So there was no way they could enter and see Jesus. But uh, if you look around you find that they took an action. Amen. Si kama unaweza ipata. They took an action. Matthew chapter Okay, Mark chapter 2. They took an action ambayo Aha ndio hiyo. Can we start from verse 1 please? I was not intending to read this but that it will bring a picture of what I want us to talk this week. And again he entered Capernaum after some days and it was hard that he was in the house. I have verse 2. Immediately many gathered together so that there was no ro- no longer room to receive them. The f- house was full, not even near the door. Ha- yani nyumba hili ja mpaka kwa mlango everywhere. And he preached the word to them. So Yesu anazidi kuhubiri verse 3. So even though the house was full and even though nobody could enter, then they came to him bringing a paralyzed man who was carried by four men, four friends. Wakabeba rafiki yao ambaye wajua paralyzed ni kumaanisha from neck down. He could not move. Totally gone. Spinal cord gone. Health gone. And then when they came, verse 4 tells us what happened. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd. So, walijaribu. They tried. But the crowd ilikuwa imeja all over. They uncovered the roof. Hiyo ndio inaitangwa violent faith. You know, if most people wangepata hii opposition, they could have gone. Ah, hata huyu Yesu tuna muziki yanga lakini sasa hata kumpata ni shi? Ni shida. But these people decided to do something that other people were not doing. How many people do you think came walikuja wakapata kumeja wakaenda? Many. But the Bible says nafikiri mmoja alisema tupande kwa roof. Unajua hii nyumba sio yao. You know there are some things you need to think before you do. <laughs> Imagine umeenda nyumba ya mtu. Acha acha nikupatie mfano mzuri. Tuko hapa na kuru. Tumesikia Yesu yuko mahali fulani. Ako hapa kaputembwa. Na tumeenda kumusikiliza. You know it's good to bring the picture to now. Tumeenda we ulikuwa unaumwa na mguu. Umeenda pale umesikia Yesu wako kwa nyumba upate kumeja mpaka kwa gate. Yaani unaambua huoni vile kumeja huku uweze ingia it is totally full. Alafu mkiwa na marafiki wenu muangalie. Ni wapi tunaweza ingilia? Muone fence. Muambiane tupande hii fence turuke kwa hii roof tutoe mabati. Nyumba sio yako. Hujawahi enda huko. I want to show you violent faith. If you don't have this kind of faith, there are things that you will not get in life. They uncovered the roof where he was. Nafikiri walipanda kwanza wakabomoa roof. Na unajua kuweka mtu paralytic, si unatoa bati moja, sijui walikuwa na jenga na nini, but whatever they had built with, hata iwe nyasi, ni kumaanisha ni ubomoaji kiasi. Kuingia mahali mtu ambaye ni mgonjwa wa kawaida mpatie 4 by 8. Ili muweze kumuingiza vizuri. Although I'm talking about a very big space. Wakaibomoa. They broke through. You will break through in Jesus' name. Ebu sema in the name of Jesus. I will uncover the roof. And I will have breakthrough. <laughs> and the Bible says, And they laid down the bed. Kwa hivyo huja mari kuwa kwa kitanda. Na kitanda ya kawaida inakuanga what? Four by, by six. Sindio? And they laid down the bed on which the paralytic 
was laying. Verse 5. Verse 5. When Jesus saw what? He did not see their destruction. He saw their faith. He did not see the damage. Wajua hata Yesu na ya ilikuwa haesabiwe bill kwa sababu yako wache hii rufu umetengeneza. He did not see that. The Bible says he saw their faith. He said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Therefore, there is something here I want also you to note. Ha kusema, Son, you are healed from your paralysis. Alisema, your sins. Kufo, kuna mambo flani ya naeza kukufunga ikulete ugonjwa. Kuna maisha unaeza ishi isababishe a certain sickness or disease to dwell in your body. So, alimsamehe dhambi, alafu wakamfungua. So, kuna mambo ukikubalia kwa maisha yako, you'll be sickly. Na niliambia wanaume hapa. Every time unaacha mke wako, unaenda kwa concubine. Unachukua mwanamke huko, kuna mapepo inakunotis, na inakufuata nyumbani. It comes home with you. Ukipanda matatu za kaptembwa, inaingia. Zinaka huko kwa roof. So, munaenda, munaenda na matatu, ukishuka, ukinunua mandizi hapo, na machungwa ziko na wewe hapo zikikufua tatu zinataka kujua kwako unaingia watoto wanakurukia huku oh hawa ndio watoto zinaanza kuwakagua oh huyu ndiye anaitwa junior huyu ndiye anaitwa boy boy yeah, zinaanza kuzunguka you know huyu ndiye anaitwa mami you know <laughs> i'm telling you hawa watoto wanapigwa unaona mtoto ameanza kupata shida ya kifua ameanza kupata hii shida Kwa sababu you brought the demons home with your sins. Mi naomba mungu wa wape nguvu you overcome. You know, it is not easy, but you can overcome. The Bible says, in this world you will face what? Many tribulations, but I overcame the world. Na ukitaka ku overcome, mi naambia wanaume wote hapa. Ukitaka ku overcome sexual sin. Stop being in private places with women. Uta overcome yo kitu kabisa. And then verse 6. Verse 6. And some of the scribes were sitting there and reasoning in their hearts. Hawa wakanza kufikiria kwa mioyo yao. Hey, why does this man speak blasphemies like this? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Verse 8. But immediately Jesus perceived in his spirit that they were reasoning thus within himself. He said to them, why do you reason about these things in your hearts? In it was the gift of discernment, the gift of word of knowledge. Ali to me hapa. Verse 9. Which is easier to say to this paralytic, your sins are forgiven or arise, take up your bed and walk. Which is easier? Uh -huh. Go to verse 10. But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sin, he say to the paralytic. Uh -huh. Verse 11. I say to you, do what? Arise, take up your bed and go to your house. This miracle haingetimia kama the friends hawange kuwa na violent faith. Some of the things you need to do, you need some kind of violence. He kanisa atujaka sana, we have about three years and a half. But when I was looking at the achievements we have made, iyo inaitua violent faith. The projects we are taking on, mana we are taking on very big projects. Mi naomba violent faith iwe imparted kwenu in Jesus name. Wangapi, wajua kuna wakati unakaa norm life The norm life as long as Ninakula, ninakunywa, ninalipa nyumba uh, Watoto wangu wanaenda shule Maisha angu ikosawa, I'm okay Mi naomba tuondoke hiyo level Uamini kwamba beyond your normal views You can live a legacy here on earth Kuna shule inafai itanishwe na jina yako As you say a better amen Mi naomba kuna ma building Ambazo zitafanya kazi ya mungu yendelea pa duniani na niwewe utasababisha. But we need what? Violent faith. Mahali pa kufika kubomoa pa. Mahali pa kufika pa kubeba rafiki kumpandisha uko juu. Na wawo enye wangeanguka. Because that is a high place. But yet they were so violent. They were so radical to the point they received their miracle. Kufo miujiza ingine haitakangi softness. Miujiza ingine inatakanga aggression. Miujiza ingine inatakanga taking initiative. When everything is not working for you, you take initiative. Listen, sometimes move.
do things that other people are afraid to do. Yes. Hey, amen. He na ito violent. Now the question is this. Sasa hapa ndio shida. Already nimeisikia katika ule mwangu. Kuna watu hapa wamefikiria hivyo. Kama vile Yesu alijua. Kuna watu wameniambia, unajua pasa unafaa ujitayarishe kabla hujafanya mambo kama haya ufunge chakula. You know uwe na kesha kama tatu, alafu you make this. Nimesikia hiyo kwa hewa. Kwa anga hapa. Nauliza hawa watu kuna mahali walipanga. I'm asking, did they ever plan? Did they ever fast? Ati wakasema wacha kwanza nifunge, alafu nijitayarishe tujue vile tu wakaambia na beba nyundo, beba so, beba nini? Ah ah. It it was a moment of faith. So you can remove your faith, ama you can grow your faith from zero to violent faith within a minute. Mi naomba hiyo iwe imparted kwenu in the name of Jesus. But now how do you operate with violent faith? Acha hii kwanza nikupatie some foundations. Maana not many people operate on this faith. Acts chapter 19 verse 14. Let me show you how to operate in this kind of faith. There are a few people who can operate on it, but you need first to listen to this. Acts 19 please verse 14. The Bible says seven sons of Sceva that is the Jewish chief priest were doing this they were casting out demons you know they were trying to cast out demons verse 15 eventually one of the evil spirit answered them Jesus I know and who and Paul I know but who are you nataka leo nizungumzie who are you who are you in Christ Jesus we know Paul even Jesus we know now the reason why people don't operate with violent faith is because they don't know who they are unasikia vile pepo iliuliza who are you watu wengi wamekosa kufanya mambo makubwa kwa sababu pia bible inasema show me your works i see your faith maana huwezi niambie unatetemeka hivi ni uko na imani imani inadhibitika kwa mambo yale unafanya that is what faith is So kuna mtu anasema pastor me have a lot of faith show me the things you have done in life to prove there is faith because faith without works is dead na kwa hivyo kitu ya kwanza imesumbua wa kristo sana inafanya they don't operate in faith is because of this question who are most believers don't know who they are na as long as you don't know you are you are position in christ and who you are in Jesus Christ there are projects and things you will not do because you don't know who you are mimi naomba from today know who you are hebu nikuonyeshe kitu kingine hapa very important can you look at uh, na usitasoma hiyo zaidi lakini ukienda unaweza jisomea galatians chapter 4 verse 1 galatians chapter 4 verse 1 now i say that the hair as long as he is a child does not differ at all from the slave though he is the master of all Biblia inasema murithi akiwa mtoto hana tofauti na mtumwa ijapokuwa yeye ndiye mkubwa wa vyote Murithi ni kumaanisha unaona kama mtoto wangu niwe na mali nyingi na bado ni mtoto hana tofauti na mfanyikazi maana bado ni mtoto The reason people don't know who they are is because they have refused to grow. If you grow you will know who you are. Na nitakuonyesha who you are. Nitakupatia points tano ujielewe wewe ni nani. You know there are people who you are kuna mtu ali uh, mimi nimepigiwa hizo simu hata hapa na kuru nimepata hiyo shida na Robin ndio ilikuwa sana. Pasta nimeona mende sita kwa, nyu, kwa nyumba na vile zinaniangalia pasta. I need you here. Namwambia why? I need you to come with the oil to fukuze hizi mende kwanza zikuwa zinatembea zikasimama zikaniangalia. So kuna mahubiri ya deliverance imefanya watu waogope sana. Na sina ubaya na sina shida na deliverance ministry. Lakini sometimes rather than build somebody they create fear. Uonangi watu wale na sio deliverance zote simaanishi every and I'm not talking about deliverance church. Na maanisha hii mambo ya kudeliver yani mambo yote ni mapepo toa hii toa ile pepo wajue zinapeangwa majina pepo ya konokono kobe pepo ya nini nyingine wanaitanga nini hizo hizo wanyama hizo 
So ukiona ndege hivi yamepita unaanza ku baba katika jini yule yule ndege namkamata kwa maombi. Ukitoka tu hapa nje uone snail. I'm telling you the whole of your day is ruined. Why? Because you don't know who you are. Listen, don't be afraid of a cat. Don't be afraid of whatever comes. Even in a snail, even in a cockroach, you have power over the works of the enemy. The moment you know who you are, there is a confidence. Kuna mamlaka unatembea na hebu andika hii. Do you know who you are? Let me show you who you are. Briefly, and then we pray. Number one, Galatians 3 verse 26. Na hizi unafaa uwe unazi, unazi, unazi confess. This is who I am. For you are all sons of God. Through what? Faith in Christ Jesus. Wakati unakuwa na mambo ya napigana na wewe, kuwa unakumbusha hiyo mambo, I belong, I'm a child of God. I'm a daughter of God. Na daughter wa mfalme, ata wa uhuru wa kiingia hapa tutamueshimu. You are sons and daughters of God. You are not just a believer who goes to church. There is a position you hold. I am a daughter. I am a son of God. Kama mini kiwa Pastor Ben, I know my father is in heaven. I am his son. Na bibile nasema, kama nyinyi mababa ambao ni waovu, mutoto wakikuitisha mkate utampatia mawe. Na mimi je, baba alie binguni. That is a position you hold. Bible inasema kama nyinyi mababa wa hapa duniani ni waovu na bado you take care of your children what about me god sasa nataka uondoe ile picha ya kuona kama Mungu amesimama mahali na rungu ana anaamua tu kukutesa na kukuonea hebu inua mkono sema in the name of Jesus I'm a child of God that is who I am in Jesus name so hapa walipoulizwa who are you they did not know who they are Mapepo ikawauliza, tunamjua Paul. He's a strong believer in Christ. He knows who he is. Nyinyi ni kina nani? Who are you? Andika point number two. Galate, 1 Corinthians 6 verse 11. Hii kwanza inasumbuanga so many believers. Ukiena kuchukua hatua ya imani, hii ndiyo huwa inakuja. And such were some of you, but you were washed. But you were sanctified. But you were justified. In the name of the Lord Jesus, by the Spirit of our God. Kuna mapepo huwa inacheza na wewe na zile dhambi ulifanya kitambo. Andika number two, you are forgiven. You are forgiven. Na kuna, kuna watu wanaweza kukuonyesha dhambi hile ulifanya ukiwa mschana, bado inakufuatanga. But the Bible says the way God forget, the way east and west zikombali. So I will forget your sins. Kuna watu hapa ulikuwa na boyfriend, ukafanyafanya makosa, siuli tubu, na uliza, siuli yokoka. Move on. Move on. Wacha kukaa tu hapo. Ha? Wajua unaendaka kuomba, baba katika jina na yesu, unakumbuka yule boyfriend. Unaondoa, hi, unapigana na hiyo wana wa mpaka hakuna kitu unaomba. Kwanza kama ulienda kwa mchawi. Oh, 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 oh. But the Bible says, you have been washed. You have been sanctified. You have been justified. In the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Ni naruhuse ya kusimama hapa ni hubiri bila shaka. Mana I'm sanctified. I'm cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Ebu inu wamekono sema in the name of Jesus. I am forgiven. All my sins have been washed away in Jesus name. Now, whether you are, a, you are a gay or lesbian or a prostitute. Yesu alikomboa Mary Magdalene a prostitute without any cost. Mbona tulipisha watu? Nauliza mbona tukulipishe dhambi ile ulifanya? Hebu inua mkono sema in Jesus name. I know who I am. I am a child of God and I am forgiven in Jesus name. Nikupatia point moja tuombe. Romans 5:1. Nilikuwa na point nyingi but because of time. Romans 5:1. Who are you in Christ Jesus? Therefore, having been justified by what? Faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ebu andika, I have peace with God. Andika hiyo. You know, there are some people who think muko na shida na mungu. Mungu ni adui yako. Una shinda ukisema na jua mungu wa menekasirikia. Ukasikiria maneno huwa tunambiwa hapa na watu. 
Mimi pasa nimekuja maana miaka hii yote 20 naona Mungu amekuwa amenikasirikia. Mimi sijui nilimfanya nini. Namuuliza kwani wewe ulifanya nini? Yenye nimeiba vitu za watu lakini ndio nafikiri Mungu alinikasirikia. Ninaombanga nasikia hata hataki mambo yangu. The Bible says when you repent and being justified by the faith that you have in Christ. What does the Bible says? Then you have peace with God. Hebu inua mkono sema I have peace with God. Kwa hivyo leo nimewatangazia kabla murudi kazini. Mungu hana shida na wewe. Mungu ana amani na wewe. Na wala hajakupangia mabaya na hataki kukuua. Maana kuna watu wanafikiri kila siku Mungu usiniue. Oi Mungu na kuomba usinimalize. Oi Mungu, si maanishi tuishi maisha ya dhambi but you need to know once you give your life to Jesus and you allow the Holy Spirit awe anakuongoza there is peace you have with God. Mimi kama Pastor Ben I know I'm at peace with God. Ninajua Mungu ananitakia mema, ananipangia mema na ninakurudisha pale maana nilikuwa na point nyingi. Wacha nikurudishe point ya mwisho ile tulianza nayo. Who are you? Acts 19:14. Acts 19:14 Verse 15 weka 15 The demons asked this question The evil spirit answered and said Jesus I know Paul I know but who are you Hebu angalia verse 16 as we finish now Verse 16 Then the man in whom the evil spirit was leaped on them overpowered them Do you know why so many believers are overpowered they don't know who they are unanyongwa usiku unapigia pasa pasa hapo wajua mimi napatanga hizo simu usiku niombe saa hii nimenyongwa na kikitu nyeusi mimi na sasa hiyo nimelala baba ninafungua huyu na hiyo kitu nyeusi iondoke in jesus name tena saa 10 pasa imerudi tena <laughs> do you know why the demons overpower you And the Bible says and prevailed. Do you know why spirits prevail against you? So that they fled. Why are people running all over? Running because the demons are after them, naked and wounded. And yet these were people who were believers. Sasa wa Kristo wengi wako hiyo verse 16. Mapepo imewaweza, wachawi wamewaweza. They have been overpowered. They have been prevailed against. They have fled wametoroka mpaka unaenda gishagi kwenu unafunga kazi unatoroka town madeni imekuwa mingi unanyang'anywa mpaka glory wajua mavazi ni glory the glory is gone why kwa sababu they don't know who they are demons will come and ask you who are you so the moment unaanza kujua mimi ni mwana wa Mungu i am a child of god unaanza kuelewa i am forgiven nimesamehewa dhambi Mapepo haita kuchezea hii mchezo. Unaanza kujua I have peace with God. Ina amani na Mungu. The moment you realize who you are, I'm telling you, you will walk with authority. Wachawi wakija wakae hapo karibu na wewe hautashtuka. Eh, amen. Hata waje waanzisha. Namaliza na hii na nitaendelea na hapo. Who are you in Christ? Nitaendelea na hiyo kesho. Namaliza na hii example. Nilikuwa na memba mmoja Mombasa na sasa amekuwa pasta na akaja akaniambia ile plot anakaa mchawi amekuja akakodisha sasa ana, ameweka viti hapo nje kwa nyumba yake watu wanakuja unasikia akifatoa masauti wanapanga laini hapo wengi wanakuja na kukunyeusi sasa nyumba yake nje akitoka tu hivi si unajua zile nyumba za Mombasa zinakuanga nini hivi alafu milango imeangaliana alafu rufu imefunika huko juu sasa akitoka nje anapata watu wengi na makuku hapo na mavitu zao wameitishwa wame na huyu muganga muganga hamusalimi muganga ako na customer wanatoka mpaka nje akaja akaniambia pasta nataka tuombe ni hame nikamuuliza kwa nini unahama akaniambia kuna muganga amekuja proti yetu na nimeamua mimi sitaki shida maana mpaka usiku ni kelele nasikia vitu zinatembea kwa siring anatuma manyoka ninasikia kama ni manyoka huko kwa ceiling amenisumbua niko na uoga nikamuuliza kwa nini tuzihamisha muganga mbona unahama wewe mbona uhamie muganga wewe uondoke muganga achukue mimi niliambia watu hapa hizi baa zote tutafunga we will close them na huku kutafunguliwa mabiashara sio sisi tuhamishwe i know who i am in jesus christ nikamwambia tunahamisha huyu muganga tunamfukuza kwa hiyo plot na hata kaa hapo Akaniambia pasta singekuwa rahisi mimi kuondoka. Nikamwambia hakuna rahisi 
inua mikono tukaomba in the name of Jesus and I was a young man a young dynamic preacher mimi nilikuwa naenda kwa crusade maana nimefanya crusade sana Mombasa nasema waganga wote nimewafuta kazi kijana mdogo aliniambia alipo kaka mwenye nyumba akakuja ati alikuja na wa vijana mwenye plot ati huyo muganga alikuwa anabebwa juju ati hizo nyungu zinatupwa si unajua vile wa, wa, they evict you wale vijana wale wabaya wa, atikipigwa makofi ati alikuwa anatolewa na watoto wake na makofi na vijana baada ya maombi na landlord maana alikuwa amelipwa pesa hapo mbeleni alikuwa very okay with the muganga to continue with his work after we prayed god intervened aliniambia vile huyo muganga alitolewa huko na fujo ndiye aliamini kuna nguvu katika maombi mimi nasema hamtahamishwa kwa biashara zenu ninasema watoto wenu hawataingizwa katika devil worshiper watoto wetu ndio wataleta wale devil worshiper wamjue kristo ninatangaza bwana yako hata kuwa mlevi ninatangaza nyumba yako haitabomolewa na wanawake wabaya saa hii ninachukua mamlaka maana we know who we are we command every activity of star satan to stop right now hebu simama na miguu yako uchukue mamlaka do we know who we are hebu inua mikono tangaza i refuse to be oppressed nimekataa kuteswa nimekataa kuonewa nimekataa kuwa harassed kama ningekuwa wewe ningekataa harassment of the devil i know who i am imani hufanya kazi unapoelewa wewe ni nani i know who i am in jesus i am a child of god i can hear you take authority now tangaza katika jina la Yesu kila vita kila maonevu kila vitu ambavyo vinapigana na wewe tunakataa leo we know who we are in Christ Jesus number one, we are sons and daughters of God i know i'm a child of God ninajua kwamba i'm a heir i'm the master of all ninajua kwamba i'm a representative of God here on earth i know who i am i will not walk in fear hey i know my sins are forgiven dhambi zangu zimesamehewa Ninajua dhambi zangu zimeondolewa makosa yote nimefanya hapa duniani wakati nilitubu iliondolewa iliondoka na hakuna gharama ninalipa isipokuwa kuamini ya kwamba nimesamehewa ninachukua mamlaka leo ninatangaza katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba i have peace with god